Hey y'all, it's your girl Monica Cashmere here. We're gonna get into this hair, baby. We're gonna get into some things today. We're gonna get into this skunk stripe for show, and we're gonna get into this hair. So this, y'all, is the Ossily hair from AliExpress. I know everybody has been doing reviews on it. Everybody has been giving the tea on this hair. And what I must say is, it's holding up to its standard and it's holding up to its name. So this hair, just off bat, if y'all could kind of just get into the luster. It's definitely giving some quality hair, just, you know, just from the look of it. I will say, um, the dyeing process was very smooth, especially for this strip here in the front. Now, the strip here in the back, honey, that's some other things right there. Y'all see how sparse that bleach ate up this back piece, so it's kind of non existent. I wanted to give y'all two little stripes. That piece in the back, baby, when I took the oil off of there, y'all gonna see in the videos and the clippings I add into this video, it ate up that back piece. So, at first, I wore it as blonde on the skunk stripe, and then I put green on it. Um, I decided to go with green, honey. I decided to give y'all some Shego vibes. If anybody you remember Kim Possible and Shego, her little nemesis, her little main villain that she would be fighting against, yes, it's Shego vibes, baby, for sure. So, now, about this hair. This hair is 34 inches. Now, I will say I would thought I would have thought that 34 inches would have been longer on me. I'm five six and a half, honey. 34, whatever they want to say, because every time I go, it's different. I just want to know the truth, because I thought I was five seven, and y'all must a lot to me. But that's all right. We're gonna get into some things. We gonna, you know, I'm still show y'all the link. So I'm gonna stand up. Oh, I'm so cute. But this is the hair from the back. I had that little pillow behind me, y'all, so ignore that. But it just touches right there. Like, you know, I'm not necessarily sitting on it because when you kind of relax your shoulders, it kind of raises. And then from the front, it falls like right at my waist length. So, you know, it's a decent length, but for it to be... 34 inches you would have thought it gave more honestly so what i will say next it is 250 percent density that's what i clicked on that's what it was supposed to be but baby let me bring all the hair to the front y'all tell me what y'all think uh, i like my hair very full um it's not giving 250 to me it's giving 180 yeah, I, I give it 180, 150, but 250? Oh, baby, I had a 250 wig that was so thick. We, we ain't gonna get into that one, but yeah, it was real thick. I don't understand. But at the end of the day, it's AliExpress hair. It's quality hair, you know what I'm saying? It's not shedding, it's not tangling. It's just the fact that I would've thought they would've gave me a little bit more <clears throat> um, you know what I'm saying a little bit more fullness but I'm making it work so with the skunk stripe like I said it took the bleach pretty well I will say that I don't know about bleaching a wig in full because we've seen what happened in the back I don't know what's going on with the bits and pieces but baby I don't know about dyeing this whole wig. That that right there with the back eating it up like that with the bleach. And y'all, I didn't leave the bleach on nothing but like 20, 25 minutes. And this front piece, I had to bleach twice. And I bleached the back piece twice too to just lift it to a color that I mean that I could, you know, put some dye on top of that was going to actually show through. So, yeah. Next. This is supposed to be HD lace. Um, it's some good lace. Um, let's get into it. It's some decent lace. Um, what I will say is, honey, I've had some issues with this lace. 
I'm a little rough. When it comes to doing my hair, I am most definitely rough. I'm, you know, getting that lace laid. I'm tying it. I'm wrapping it. I have so many holes in this wig. And y'all will see for sure from the clips that I insert. I have so many holes in this wig's lace. And it's because I'm rough. So it must be HD lace. Because, baby, it's ripping like, you know, it's real real thin real flimsy you got to be cautious with that hd lace um me i've had some hd lace in the past i ripped that too baby let me let me not blame osley i ripped that too mm, mm, mm. that's crazy yeah just thinking back i had some hair in february of this year and i had ripped that lace too and i had to sew it back together honey i had to improvise but yeah this is hd lace and then i paid 349 dollars and 30 cent for this wig so a 34 inch wig from aliexpress quality hair for 349 dollars. i don't know how much y'all usually spend on hair but i just bought some hair a couple weeks ago it ran me about eight seven six six hundred dollars with they sell so originally it would have been like eight hundred nine hundred dollars but with their sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I got it for $600, $660. So, and that's some quality. That's that raw East Asian hair, honey. This is hair come highly, highly, highly recommended. So, um, I'm going to review that in just a moment in my next video. But this hair is some quality hair. I've been wearing it for about a week. So, at first I wore it in the blonde strip state and then um i added the green like maybe four days ago and then this is my third day wearing it green so yeah the hair um it's really giving top quality i will say that for sure you will get a little snag towards the end you know but it ain't like you just gonna get a snag every time you know it's some good hair. I will not cap with y'all. It's some good hair. Um, I originally heard about this hair from Brittany Rivers here on YouTube. Girl, that is one of my faves. Like, she gives the real AliExpress tea. And especially, like, trying to try varieties. Blonde, 613s. You know what I'm saying? The 40 inches, the 34 inches. So she definitely inspires me to help y'all find some affordable but quality hair. Um, so I'm gonna tag her video below for sure. Um, that's my girl, so I'm gonna make sure I shout her out in the um in the description box for sure. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and insert the video if I haven't already of you know, me bleaching and dyeing the hair. So y'all, this is just me showing y'all the bleach, showing y'all the first dye, and then I put more bleach on it. And it's before I did the back strip. Now this is the back strip, honey, before it got ate up. And then, yeah, this is my floor. I don't know what I was doing, but yeah, the back strip. This is before I plucked it, put the white towel under, honey. Y'all know the vibes. And then this is me after blow drying it out, getting to the color I desired. Ooh. And then this is just me showing y'all all the rips and shit I put inside of the lace. I'm going to slow down a little bit and show y'all. Right there. Mm -mm -mm. And then this is me just going through, having to cut it a little extra to get the rips out. But yes, ma'am. And then this is me applying it for the very first time. And now here's the green.
so y'all this is just the excess cap peeking through from under this sideburn so i had to end up cutting it off camera i couldn't get it for some reason on here but i did end up cutting it later on So y'all, on here, I was not feeling the bang at all. You see me shaking my head like, uh-uh, this is not it, not it at all. The girls who get it, get it. And the girls who don't, don't. Like, you know, earrings completes any look. Every look. You don't go nowhere without no earrings. And that's just on period. I wore it in curly state. It held a curl very well. I also did put a little holding spray on it. I don't put curls in my hair no more without no holding spray. So I definitely put some holding spray in it. Um, I did bone straight it because bone straight just chef's kiss on me. You know what I'm saying? It's just chef's kiss on me. You know, it it peeps through. And it's like, ooh, I like the way that flow. But this hair, what you gonna get is some flowy hair. Y'all wanna stun on some hoes? Get you some oscillate. Cause this right here. And this, and you want that 34 inch stun on them now. It ain't gonna be super full, baby. It ain't gonna be super full, but it's gonna, it's gonna slay. You know what I'm saying? It's most definitely gonna slay. And I had to get into the skunk strike trend. I had to. TikTok was, it was just all in my face. I had to get into the skunk strike trend. Like, honey. Who is she? Is she green on this side or is she black on this side? Like, let me know. And I will say I was going to do like jet black on this hair and then the skunk stripe. I just left it in its natural state. 
Um, it's not because I was scared to do the jet black. It was just because I'm like, Ugh, I'm, I just want to curve and get it on, honey. I ordered this wig on October the 13th. I received it on October the 30th. And I didn't put it in until December the 18th. And Christmas Eve is today. So, you know, I've been having it in for, you know, a good week now. I will come back and update y'all on this hair if it just for some reason just out of left field, you know, start having a so, problem. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, let me know what y'all thoughts is on the hair. If y'all go out and purchase it, let me know how y'all feel about it. Cause I don't want to steer y'all in the wrong way. And I don't want to hype nothing that ain't, you know, consistent for everybody. So please make sure y'all let me know in the comment section below if y'all go out and purchase it. Um, also, let me know what Summer Walker song y'all like down below from the new album. I'm gonna tell y'all 4 BM. Yeah, I like that. And I like X for a reason. Like at first I wasn't really feeling X for a reason, but then I'm like, hmm, it's cool. When you skip JT part, it's cool, you know? Um, what else I like? Insane is cool. Um, she got a few bangers on there for real. So y'all tell me what y'all like and I'm gonna go listen to see, you know, me and my friend was having to talk about this. Like, why you think you like what you like and why you think I like what I like? And then I'm like, well, I think you like what you like cause you can relate to it. But my thing is I started to think I'm like, um, I like fourth BM, but I could never, ever, ever can't be nobody's fourth BM not in life. Um, you gonna have to wife me to even be the first, you know what I'm saying? So definitely, I want to know what it was that he said to her that made her be like, okay, I'm willing to be the fourth baby mama. It's just not, it's just not logical. It's just not something I could do, you know? Um, but shout out to London and Summer for taking that step. Um, because no ma'am, mm-mm. Not, not over here. We ain't even gonna, mm, we gonna dwell on it. But thank y'all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all give me the tea in the comments because I had to give y'all the tea in this video. Um. So yeah, see y'all next time. Bye, girls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.